All right, here we are Tuesday morning, August 25th, and today is a Ironman training day. Kona special. Kona special, apparently. We'll see you in a little bit why. And uh, so what's the plan for today? Uh, well, the plan is to exercise for a really long time. Uh, and we're starting off with a one hour open water swim here in Lake St. Clair. In which, uh, I'm gonna swim easy, it's about a kilometer where I swim to. I'm gonna swim easy out, hard back, easy out, focusing on, on some technical things I'm implementing, hard back. And that'll be 4K in about an hour. So uh, that's the first session of the day. Nice. So, second session, already 35 minutes in. I don't really have a predetermined workout or anything. Currently, what I'm feeling like is 20 minutes between 320 and 330 watts. And basically, I'm just going to do them for as long as I can as long as my mind will allow. And currently, the temperature in here is 81 Fahrenheit and 77% humidity. So, similar to what the morning will be on the Viking Kona. So, we'll check back in a bit, but so far that's what I'm doing. How far into it are we? Three hours and 33 minutes. And average is 288. Normalized is 296. Temperature is 76%, humidity and 84. Very nice. Pretty challenging. Uh, definitely the longest I've ever rode in this kind of condition. So, you'll notice a fan behind me now. Because in the first two hours, I consumed five liters of liquids. Meaning, with just this little guy in the door for the window closed, it's very unrealistic. Sweating way more than I would riding outside. They added this fan, cracked the window open a bit, and it feels more realistic. So, definitely nearing the end of the ride portion, I can. All right, so I managed four hours and 15 minutes on the bike. Uh, the average was 286. The normalized was 295. And it was freaking hot the whole time. I don't think the temperature other than like the first couple minutes, uh, I don't think the temperature ever was under 83 and 75% humidity. So uh, on the Humidex, it's got to be over 100. Um, so yeah, happy, happy with it. That's actually my longest trainer ride I've done this year, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Actually, it might be my longest trainer ride I've ever done. Um, yeah, so now I'm hopping on a treadmill, and once again, I don't have any set uh, plan. I'm just going to go and run and enjoy it, and uh, wherever I feel like stopping, I'll stop. All right. Day's done, now we're on to the final session. 20 minutes in the sauna. Got it up to 115 right now. When I get in there, I'm sure it'll heat up a bit more. Uh, ended up doing 8.75 miles of running. That's 14 kilometers or so. Uh, time was 54.54. 54. And uh, 
temperature never went under 87 degrees and the humidity hovered right around 75 percent so um, it was pretty challenging but uh, interestingly I drank quite a bit on the bike and after approximately an hour of running off the bike I was dead even weight wide so I was really happy with that so um, good day probably the, the longest I've ever spent in the heat it's day six for me of my my heat training uh, protocol and uh, finally starting to see some some gains it's, it's quite amazing how quickly the body or maybe just your mind um, adapts to the heat when you really really force yourself to um, train in those those conditions uh, so I've been hopping the sauna for a bit now